Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you and a review of The Good and the Beautiful's Level 8 Book Studies on the book, Wild Like the Foxes. I just had my ninth grader, my 13 year old son, complete this, and I wanted to share our experience with it and some thoughts on it. This is the book here that it's based on, Wild Like the Foxes by Anne Auta, I wanna say. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. So on the back of the book, it says, at the age of 10, Inuit child Aaliyah lost her mother and grew up with only the influence of her father and older brother. She became an excellent hunter, fisher, and trapper. Many worried she would never learn the finer points of being womanlike. However, this did not bother Aaliyah at all. Follow this exciting true story of an Inuit daughter surrounded by the love of her family who experienced many adventures both in the wild and in society. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and just give you a quick look at the book study itself as well as at the answer key then i'll come back and share our thoughts on it so i'm going to start out by showing you first of all the student book so these are copies i should say from the pdf that i printed and bound so this is not how it comes from the good and the beautiful i have a feeling that their book is quite a bit smaller like more this size because the pages don't go all the way to the edge so this is what it looks like. It is quite short. It says that it covers writing, spelling, grammar, usage, and punctuation, geography, literature, and art. And so this is what I mean about the size. This is like the size of each page. So I'm guessing the original book's kind of that size. So there's information here about the book study. There is at a glance. Oh, that's my bad, printing empty pages. Vocabulary, commonly confused words, literature, spelling and challenging, pronunciation, vocabulary, letter writing, and some more words here, and then it goes into lesson one. So there are, I wanna say 19, yeah, 19 lessons. So it is very, very short. They have gorgeous artwork in here you some of these and because this is one of the art projects that they do because it takes place in the Arctic it focuses on the Arctic geography wise um, as well as Canada so there's pictures here and there is a handful of art projects which I will show you in a minute some more here. This is Bootchart Gardens in Victoria. This is where I grew up, actually. So for me, as a Canadian, um, it was nice to see a lot of familiar pictures in here and information. This is another art project. I put that page upside down. So yeah, and this is, um, I think this is Alberta. This is near where we live now, looks like. So just quick look there at what that looks like. There's artwork here too. So that's that. And then there's an answer key, again, PDF I printed. So it basic, basically goes through every single page and it just fills in where there are answers needed. So you can see here, it's basically the same as the student one, just with the answers in there. So quite short. And sweet. This is the book itself. It is a level eight on their reading scale. And this is what the inside looks like. So I should say right off from the start, I have not read this book. I'm gonna be doing it as a read aloud for my kids, for all of them later in the year when we study um, Nunavut. So I have not read the book. It does encourage, I would say, the parent to read the book at the same time, so there's some discussion questions along that you can do, but I haven't read it. My son said it was okay. He didn't feel like it was a great book, not the worst book either, that it was just okay. Looking at the level of English or language arts for this, I felt like it was too simple, way too simple more like kind of that level four or five. Um, I can show you, you know, there's, there's editing. 
um, homophones, you know, adjective, verb, adverb, um, punctuation. But like put these words in alphabetical order or um, copy these words. I just, I didn't feel like it was kind of challenging enough. Um, like I said, there were 19 lessons. My son did it in three weeks, maybe just under three weeks. Like he's a quick reader and so he was able to do lessons very quickly. And because they weren't super heavy or full lessons, it, it was just really easy for him to do it. The art projects, let me find that map. So this is one of them uh, right here. This is how it's supposed to end up. And I'll show you what my sons look like here. I felt like he did a really good job. I had a couple little, hmm, with this uh, book study being Canadian and I, I do plan to let the company know my feedback so maybe this will change in the future. If you look at this map here, um, it's a little hard to see, it's kind of easier to see on this one. They have New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and Nova Scotia as um, an island, which they're not. They are part of the continent. So I feel like that's kind of uh, just a sticking point. They're also missing Vancouver Island over here, which you know, it's, it's a huge island, but it's also the capital of British Columbia. Our, you know, legislature is there. Um, it's an important place. So I feel like that was kind of, mm. my son also did not enjoy doing the Northern Lights one with watercolors. He just, he really struggled with it. So he actually went ahead and made one with pastels and it turned out beautiful. So, I'm not so sure about the medium used in here, but you know, it is what it is. There was one other part in here that I felt like the sentence, I just happened to read it and I felt like the sentence wasn't quite right. Um, oh, here it is. It says the 10 provinces of Canada were formed and given powers and structure by the Canadian constitution in 1867. Yes and no. <laughs> the setup for it, true, was kind of founded then, but the 10 provinces didn't come until much later. I mean, Newfoundland didn't even join Canada until the 1950s. So I think that needs a little bit of clarification and because it also tells how young a country Canada truly is. We are a young country. So those issues. Other than that though, I love when I can find something that covers Canada <laughs> because sometimes it's really hard to find resources. And so I really like that The Good and the Beautiful chose this book and they put this together. I'm excited to read the book and to see how I like it. So um, if you've read it, leave it in the comments section down below how you liked it, or I'll put an update once I read it down below what I thought of it, but you can just come back and check that later on. I think, uh, you know, the size thing was a little weird, but that must just be the way they made it. Otherwise, good literary value, good Christian morals, and a good kind of fill in the middle in between there level seven and their high school because they don't do a level eight other than the book studies. I am having my son do one other book study. So once he has done that, I will share that as well. But those are my thoughts. I hope that this video is informative, that it's useful to you. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in that comment section below and I will always try and answer them for you. I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.